What's gonna happen to Five Nights at Freddy's Plus? If you haven't been in the loop with this or have no entire idea what this game is, it's part of the Five Nights at Freddy's Fan Rush Initiative, and that's just making, you know, official fan games based on Five Nights at Freddy's. So, Five Nights at Freddy's Plus was one of them, and now it looks like we might not actually be able to play this one. So that's what I'm here today, to tell you what's gonna be the future of this game. We're going to be looking at it and explaining if we can actually be able to play it or is this going to be a game we'll never be able to actually experience. Because if you go on Steam, it actually goes and tells you, notice that the Five Nights at Freddy's Plus is no longer available on Steam. And as of today, if you go and click any links to Five Nights at Freddy's Plus, it's not going to work. It's going to bring you to the Steam homepage showing that it's officially gone and off Steam. But do not worry, still have some hope left because if you go on Twitter, you can see the Twitter page is still up and running. I, I hope I didn't jinx it. I hope I don't go like next tomorrow morning is wake and see gone. Please don't do this. And if you're still out of the loop and have no idea why this is happening to the game, let me explain. I don't want to go into the whole controversy side. You know me. I don't like talking about all that stuff. But I'm just going to do a quick little rundown. If you do not know, the creator of Binance of Freddy's Plus is actually Fiznom. Fiznom has been creating the game for, I think, at least two years, two years and a half now. Correct me if I'm wrong. And after that, uh, after he was like a huge FNAF fan, but then when he played Security Breach when it came out, he said that he posted like a whole long thing about it saying that he's not going to really, really be a fan of it anymore, and that he's not a FNAF fan anymore, and that he's not going to be playing any future games. So, Ruin comes along, and everybody wants him to go and play it, so he goes and plays it at least, I think, almost a week after. And of course, it was just a normal playthrough, right? You'd think that'd be it. He goes and plays Ruin, and yes, he played the Ruin full to the ending. But at the whole entire live stream, and even at the end of it, you could tell that Fiznom did, did not actually like and he could tell by his attitude in the video that he did not like FNAF Ruin. But what really sealed the deal in is when he tweeted after the stream, well, that was boring. And after that, the rest is literally history. So that's literally a long story short. He started going on trending. He's like, can we get to 10k lads? And then all of his fans started to, you know, I guess gang up upon other fans because some other fans said that, whoa, when, when FNAF Plus comes out, we should all tweet, well, that was boring. And then that started getting a whole bunch of hate and death threats into his DMs. And then Fiznom started to like joke about it. And it's a whole thing there. But at the end of the day, Hey, editing lightning here, and I just want to let you guys know I'm not going to be showing any of the names and any of the original tweets about people tweeting about, you know, if they say something about the tweet, I'm not going to be showing it on there. And if I do show it, I won't be showing their actual names, so you cannot go to their account. Just a little heads up there. Anyways, enjoy the rest of the video. Biznam got pulled away from the Five Nights Freddy's Plus uh, development. As you can see on Steam, his name is not there anymore. As developer, when his Steam page was up, because now it's gone, it said that, you know, the developer has been removed with no known developer on the page. Then after that, on the forums, you can see that he was also banned. He was banned there, so that happened. And after that, for like the rest of the day, we had no idea what was going to happen in Five Nights Plus until he uploaded his video that he said it's not an apology video, it's just like an update update video to let you know what happens. If you want to know the full entire story, you could go watch it there. I'm not here to tell you all that and all the drama. I'm just here to tell you that Fiznom had, you know, some controversy and that's what caused him to get pulled out. If you don't know, Fiznom's whole entire, like, base and fan base is about him being toxic, able to take the hate and say his own opinions without worrying about the consequences of his opinions. So that's what his whole entire, like he says, brand is about. And of course, that's sadly what led to this now. At the end of the day, I do not think what he did is right. I, I don't know why he would hate on the game. Like, if you do not like the game, you should just play it. I feel like when I was watching it that it, it looks like he, like he wanted to hate it. I don't know, but I just think the way that he went about it is just not right. And he could have went on a different way because I, I accept everyone's opinions. He doesn't like Ruin. That's fine. He doesn't like Ruin. But the way he just went so extreme off that, I just felt like that was so unnecessary. How everything just went to the deep end. But at the end of the day, it was meant to happen. And now, Five Nights Freddy's Plus, his creation is now up in the air. We have no entire idea. The game can be finished for all we know. He made a whole town meme tweet saying that every time someone asks me when's Plus coming out, I'm just going to go delay it by an extra day. 
And like I had the game finished for like six months. So that was obviously a joke, but if that wasn't a joke, I'd be surprised. But of course it's not, he, he's not gonna do that. And yeah, that's at the end of the day, he been pulled away from it. He says he's not focusing on FNAF and he officially left the community. And now the Steam page is gone, only leaving the Twitter. And the minute the Twitter page goes away, I guess that's just the nail in the coffin for the game. But who knows? Uh, Fizz, uh, Fizz Nam was actually working with Click Team Fusion, aka the you know source engine that was making that he Scott made the FNAF games on, was also collaborating with Fizz Nam. So who knows? They might get new developers and might finish the game. We don't know how the state of the game is. It might be like 90% done or it might be 60. Maybe they can just do the last finishing touches and actually release the game or it could become lost media and none of us will ever ever be able to play the game. So now that comes to the question, what's the future for the game? Right now at this point in time, it's unclear. I do have hopes that the game is not going to be 100% cancelled but it is, I feel like it's a 50-50 chance at this point. You guys can let me know in the comments below what you guys do think about it but if you like the way and the idea uh, Final Freddy's Plus to be different from anything ever made from Final Fantasy Freddy's. Well, don't don't worry. There's a whole bunch of other fan games, and I'm also putting some content on the screen now of fan games, actually by the YouTuber Nice. So don't forget to check out his uh, video gameplay. That I bet there's gonna be a whole bunch of different fan creations of the game. Looked at all the media that we've already seen about it. I bet people are gonna try to recreate it if it does get canceled. But at the end of the day, I don't think it's gonna get canceled. I think it's still gonna come out. I have hopes for it still, just because the Steam page is gone. Maybe that to find new developers. Maybe some like that but at the point right now it looks like it's not coming out and looks like the future is pretty grim for this game and with also all, all the other controversy with the other fanverse games some other ones and the whole fanverse as itself being pretty troubling i just hope the rest of the other games are all gonna come out good and i was really looking forward to play this game because it looked really good it looked actually scary i was looking forward to it you know but at the end of the day that is the future for final Fantasy freddy's plus Tell me guys in the comments below what you guys do think about this. Were you, are you guys sad about this or do you think that Fiznom deserved this? Like, yeah, I know. He did lots of bad things, but I don't think the game that he's been working on for at least two to three years should just be gone, deleted, and just forgotten in the dust. I feel like it should have at least been released. And I know his he's like the main person on it. Like, they should at least say that, yo, he created it. Fiznom created this. We just did the last final wrapping touches and he's no longer getting any money for the game. And they just pull, you know, pull out his name from the development team, but still say that he, uh, I'm, I'm making no sense, am I? Like, I, re I wish they just went and released the game saying that Fizzom created it, and they pulled him away from the developing team. Like, that might be the best way to go with it. I still do not think all this hard work should just go down the drain. But anyways, let me know in the comments below what you guys do think. Let me know in the comments below also what you want to do. What would you want them to do? Anyways, guys, that is the future for Five Nights at Freddy's Plus. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned because if we get more information or more news, I definitely want to do another video on this because I'm interested to see how this whole story plays out. But right now, we have no entire idea what's next. Tomorrow is literally the, what, seven year? eight year anniversary of Five Nights at Freddy's. And when that comes out, who knows? You might get more news of other things, maybe even Five Nights at Freddy's Plus. So by the time you're seeing this, it's probably already the anniversary. So let's just see what happens.